this little beauty right here will cost you 30 or 35 depending on the colour you go for. So we're going to unbox this here, look at it, we'll do a really quick first impressions, I'll jump into like a game of Call of Duty just to see how it feels, because you know sometimes these second hand controllers, these sticks and the buttons feel a bit different. So I want to see what this one's like, and this is for the new next gen consoles. So we'll take a little bit of a close look here, you can see it's an enhanced controller, we've got the share button on it, right in the middle there and we've also got a volume rocker to change the volume on our headset which is a really cool addition and it's a really nice package check this out how cool does this look expertly engineered and if we have a look at the back as well just take another quick look at this side of the box you can see there's a whole bunch of cool stuff here so two pro programmable and mappable buttons at the back which is why i bought it because any of you who've been watching the channel for a while, usually play Fortnite with all of you on stream, have not done it for a while, because none of the new consoles have back buttons on the back of their controllers. So like this, there's no back buttons. I legit cannot play Fortnite without back buttons like I had on my PS4. So this should solve it, and we can be back playing Fortnite on Xbox Series S with all of you very soon. So let's get this out of here. It looks like a cool colour. The only thing I will say you need to bear in mind with this is if you sit so far away from your console, this might not be the controller for you because it is wired. It is not wireless, but again, you're going to have zero input latency because it's going through the wire. And also, whoa, what was that? Okay, that was the cable. It's a very long cable. It just fell out of the package there. So let's quickly take a look at this and see. Oh yeah, right, okay. You are going to be sorted. This must be easy. Two meters or more. Yeah, so that's it folded. Easy. You should be fine with this, I think. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice cable. And then we've got the actual controller. We went for a kind of cool color here. I can't remember what this color's called. I don't know if it tells me on the box again. Uh, no, I don't see it. But you can get it in a whole bunch of different colors. And if you want to pick this up for yourself right now, check out the affiliate link down below. This is available on Amazon and you'll be able to pick it up for an amazing price. This one is 35, the other colors are 30 and you'll support the channel as well. So check out the link down below in the description and in the top 10 comment. So first off, I love the colours on this. And we've also got like a kind of uh, bronze D-pad here, which looks cool. And not gonna lie, it feels exactly the same as the official controller, apart from the triggers. They don't feel as smooth. A lot louder, so it feels a little bit cheaper. But again, it is a lot cheaper, but what I'm after is these back buttons here. So for like Fortnite, for example, that can be amazing. So you can just be running about, you can press that to deploy builds. You can press that for jump. I use that a lot. So when I was jumping about shooting at someone with a shotgun, I can be pressing this button here to jump, circle, and then it doesn't mean I need to take my finger off the stick as well, which would be annoying if you would be going like jump, 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 and then you would get tagged. It'd be a nightmare. So I'm not going to lie, it feels nice. It's got a really nice coating on it, which is pretty cool. So we've got the share button there. So you can share your clips right away on your Xbox Series S or X. And we've also got a little volume control here as well. So you can turn the volume up and down on your microphone. Other than that, it feels really nice. Um, I'm impressed, nice and light. I thought it would be a lot heavier. That one's a lot heavier with the batteries in it, obviously. There's no batteries in this, it's a cabled one. Let's quickly jump into a game of Call of Duty just to see how it feels. Okay, just to show you, we have it plugged in now. I have got my controller all ready to rock. We've got my headset plugged into the bottom. And what is cool, you can actually just press this red button here, which actually is a volume toggle. So you turn it up and turn it down, which is really cool. But also if you press it in, it will mute and unmute your mic. So that is the microphone muted, and that is the microphone uh, unmuted. Very, very cool how you can do that. But what we really want to do is get these paddles assigned to buttons on the front here. So what you do is you hold down this button here, and once you hold that down, 
this little LED under the X will start flashing, you can see that there, and then you press the button you want, so I'm going to press A, and then it'll flash quicker, and then you select your paddle, so I'm going to pick the right one, and boom, it will stop flashing, and that means that has been selected, and for example, if I flick on over to the gameplay for you all right now, if I can just find the right button, do do do, there we go, and if we do that, I can just press the paddle now to start the game, let's go to Nuketown 24-7, Boom. So that is now assigned a very, very cool. This is a great substitute as well um, for anyone who's wanting to get back paddles but does not want to spend a lot of money on a scuff controller or an elite controller. If this works well, this is a way to do it for £30. Very, very cool. And it's a really nice finish on it. The, the coating feels really nice. Uh, I can't really explain it. It's kind of almost a rubbery feeling. Oh, there we go. So my my uh, left paddle is making me crouch. And this one, uh, in a second I'll show you, it's making me jump. Nice. So you can use that to slide. Oh, I like it, I like it. Right. So, so far. Whoa. Feel it just. Oh, we got melted. What is this? Kill confirmed. Not good. It feels... Pretty much identical to the normal controller. Oh, we coming here. Let's go. Oh, we did! Oh, so grenade out there, come on. Grenade out! Grenade out! Come on, team. Oh no! Glitching, glitching, glitching! Section interrupted! Okay, that's nothing to do with the controller, that's my rubbish internet. But yeah, so there you go, that is what this uh, little controller can offer you. There we go, you're dead. For 30 pounds. And then you can do cool stuff by using the paddles as well. I like Whoa! Oh, please get them! Oh, too slow. Damn. So I will do a full kind of recap slash review of this. Uh, once I've had a chance to play with it a bit more, I'll use this in a couple of my games and see how it goes. And then I'll let you all know. And hopefully I can get a game where the connection is not interrupting like this. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Oh my goodness, the connection's going wild. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Much love to all your faces. Leave me any questions down below in the comments and I'll try and answer them. And we'll see you on the next video my friends. Hasta la bye bye.